Further evidence, really, that despite the brutal crackdown, the protesters, the people across Syria, are still taking to the streets, defying the presence of troops and tanks in cities across the country. Now, the worst violence happened around the city of Dera. This was the place where the protest started six months ago, a place that's really been battered by the security forces. But still, even there, people ventured onto the streets to mark the end of Ramadan, the beginning of Eid, and to demand still the downfall of Bashar al-Assad and it was there that uh, the security forces apparently opened fire killing at least six people one person was killed elsewhere in Syria I think what we're seeing is a situation where Bashar al-Assad is refusing to change his tactics he still believes that he can crush the opposition in the country by sending in the troops sending in the tanks and yet the protesters are refusing to back down they are determined buoyed on by what they've seen happening in Libya to take to the streets and try to unseat the regime. No sign, though, Bashar al-Assad is listening to international pressure this stage, which is increasing every day. The U.S. has just announced new sanctions against Syria's foreign minister and also against Bashar al-Assad's advisor, Bethana Sha'aban, who has been quite a familiar figure on our screen. So the pressure continues, but at this stage, no sign that the regime is cracking from from within, and it seems that we're locked in this bloody pattern of protests, crackdown, and more deaths by the day.